Winces. All right, let's start getting the buffs out, guys. And another round of oranges. Do it again. That's a big boy X. Reds. Thanks. Thank you, boss. You're welcome. Um, someone let Tara some parts time to log back in. But I'll, uh, I'm not gonna use DPS food, I'm just gonna use tank food, fuck it. No one told me, but apparently stamina food stacks with haste food. The whole time. I only use stamina <laughs> food. Yeah, you could use stamina and haste, you can also use stamina and dodge. And, uh, and yeah. you can also use stamina and resilience food. Yeah, you can put this. this. Yeah, Got more, you. whatever it is, yeah. Uh, you can have stamina and fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's really whatever T WoW decided can stack, right? Like, the others could stack, but they decided they don't want them to. Yeah. Mifred, do you like my new self? What? You're a troll again? Troll now? Yes. yes. Aren't you a human? Not a, a goblin. Human. Not a goblin. We're getting ready to pull this eradicator now. Everyone make sure you do pick up oranges from the orange pan. And for the next entrance coming up, we have nothing with Skull, lighting up on X, Winston on Square, and Breakers on the Moon. Just so you can pay attention to your marks. Keep them spread out for now, we'll figure out what's going on, and then sign up the order. If you see a reflection, no, we kill that first. Tell your clap and Skull. Alright, get squared away from everybody. We're going to be going for Cross first, and then Moon. The moon will go for skull, and then we'll go for shadows. Just... And moon next. Sorry, which one next? Moon. After moon, we're going to just. Yep. We're getting shadows. Yeah, yeah, and then to the skull. It's like the furthest I, I can take. I really think that it's still a bit of a stupid And now start bringing in square, and we're all going to go running towards the bottom. Should we get inside the ring? Can we get my charge done? Probably should get behind them. Ooh. Grabbing the rather get here. Yeah, he just had an unlucky crit that killed most of the raid. Well, we have one more mob, sorry. That's alright. Didn't expect everyone Yeah, just run in, it'll be quicker. Charleston, Flinder Clap, hate to see it. That was just a really shit thunderclap. Only 12 was died. Only, only, <laughs> only 12. That means I should have popped his answer. Can we get the eradicator? Oh, yeah, if you can pull it, go for it. Yeah, it's too far now. I need an 8. Shadow Deed, wait for everyone to get inside and rebus will be handled for the. Guys, if there's someone dead in your group, you're not getting buffs. Oh, my buffs. <laughs> We're not pulling, give me buffs. Can we get I a pull on the skull when it's close? From a hand yes. or a druid or anything? I get it. Oh. oh! Fuck. Alright, tanks pick up your targets. Make sure we spread these out. 
we're going to be pulling back to this previous room. Square has forms. Let's see how many crosses thunderclap. Skill has end now. Maybe our game. Moon is mortal strike. I guess we're going for skull then. Yep, skulls are reflect. Shadow frost it's reflect. Shadow and frost. Everyone on skull, please. After skull, we'll be going for moon, which is mortal strike. After that, we'll be going for square. And then we'll be going for cross. On cross, melee thing. So moon next, please, everybody. Square, really take care. And then on cross, it's just going to be cast as killing it due to the fact of that. And fallen sure. Nasty combination. Okay, the bridge. Alright, let's get rebuffs going on again. And let's start popping our greater arcane protection potions. We've got Mithra and Lightning up starting off on the boss. We have Winces and Ragnarok on the right hand side, and we have Braithers and Lake Sharkski on the left hand side, getting ready to pick up him every time it splits at 25% 25, 25 health missing. Make sure the SR sheet is locked. If you've not SR'd, that's your problem. Ready to pull? Yeah, we're ready to pull. Let's start mounting up. All casters in an even group, you're going to the left. All casters in an odd group, you're going to the right. split incoming. Remember we are not targeting the blue square, we are targeting the skull and cross first. And make sure we CC Constance first. Alright, bring the boss back into the middle. Look at him go. That's a good enough middle for me. Alright, make sure we're going for the skull and cross again, get them dead as soon as yeah. CC Mithra. Still name polymorphim sticking this true. You know the drill. And on this final push we just focus down blue square. Even when it splits tanks, just pick up your targets, healers should make sure you're staying alive. And blue square is in CC Hakuna Matata. a couple of dead, make sure we start rebuffing them before we go pulling our next pack. It's no loot for a caster like you, Shadow Deed. Please don't de curse, curse a wreck today. I have faith. Interesting loot. Ready to pull? Yeah, we're ready to pull. Make sure we CC the mind control person. That's me. Good luck. I get corruption, bro. Hello? Ah, yes, the tank. <laughs> that wasn't weakness. They could have done that. Ooh, they could have done that. And I get deeper. You guys are fucking something else. I can lip We've got the warrior pack coming up next, and we want to make sure we get engaged. Hey, are we going on? I'll do it. 
Oh, okay. I'll do next one if I have cooldown. Remember, we're spreading the damage between them all equally, so this is a good time for AoE. If you're cleaving, make sure you're changing your target so that you aren't killing one way before the others. They're pretty much here now, so we're picking them up. And make sure we're killing them all. You are good. May just start arcane explosioning. Right now. Perfect, no one died. Next we're going to be jumping over this ledge, we're pulling the pack and making sure we pull the guardians under the walls and make sure you are getting knocked up under the wall instead of around the room. This is the four damage is what kills you, kill the very much first. We need to get these guardians a lot tighter under this wall, keep them in one central position so everyone can be in front of them. Don't be attacking them from behind. Because you'll just get knocked backwards like that, so die. Alright, we can get ready to pull this next pack. Make sure the guardians are between you and the doorway so you don't get knocked into the room. You can only be knocked backwards. And focus on these brain watchers. CC Mithrin. CC Winters then. This belt. Get that other brainwash down and stack these guardians together, please. Make sure that you are behind the guardians so that the doorway is in front of you. you don't grieve and do not decurse curse of threat, please. If you need mana, start drinking now. Mifrin, get ready to start pulling. And everyone make sure you are back. We are picking up these brainwashers first. CC Forzy, CC Winces. Brainwashers dead. Make sure these guardians are between you and the doorway again so that you can't get knocked backwards into the room. Tank stacked them up nice and tightly. And this week we are killing three last. So what does that mean for our kill order today? Well, we put a blue square on Kree, we go for Yauj first, and then we go for Vem second. Yauj is the one that does the fear, so we need to be on top of our Tremor Totems for the first phase. And just making sure we're dispelling the fear where possible. Um, and yep, once that's done, we need to be making sure we're poison cleansing throughout the whole fight, because Kree is going to be doing poison. When Kree dies, there's going to be a poison cloud on the ground underneath him at the very end. Don't go checking out the loot, because you can just die. It does mean Mish then will be waiting behind to roll out the loot. People, don't be nosy. If you can get your token, get your token. But otherwise, just forget about it this week. It won't be the difference maker. Now, I'm going to wait for everyone to be at full mana, and I'll give a pull call. And just for the simplicity of it, Mifrin and Drafers are on Yowd, Lenin up, and Ragnarok are on Vem, and Winces and Lake Sharks here are on Kree. Your friends will abandon you. Mana is looking good. Let's go pull. Mana is looking such a spot though. Get parried, lovely. Right, poison cleanse. Any healers? Hello? We have five Druid to a casters, please make sure you are abolishing the poisons. Right, Yards is about to die. It's into a load of adds. If we can get an AoE taunt on those and we can AoE those down, please. Your heart will explode. Alrighty, and everyone stop focusing targeting down them. Make sure we are dispelling this poison still. Very vital that we do that. Thanks for talking them on cooldown, please. It has a threat drop and also a heal. Heal is the ouch, right? 
Oh, is it? Yeah, probably. I guess. It's always the first set of healing reds. Oh, yes, of course. Sorry. Cool. And now so everyone to poison number three. Make sure poison cleansing is priority one. Thanks, taunt it on cooldown, please. Or Potentially. Really? Yeah, get away from the poison cloud. That loot. Yeah. <laughs> I saw that, my friend. I saw that. I wanted to see the loot. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> hey, what's that green poison there? Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. <laughs> He's only one of the main tanks. Uh huh. He's the main tank, not the one of them. That's fair. Uh, let me look at the warriors. Uh, Alright, let's rest so up the people and start going forward. We'll be doing a rebuff before we, fall the, before we pull the next warrior pack. It's really far. I don't see it at all. Okay, yeah, I don't see it. Here it is. A circle. I mean, Miss Sims a Dwarf, he could potentially stone form too as well, right? I don't think that's real. I don't think so either. Take and get. You Take and get. will die. Alright, the warriors are incoming. We have not got our tanks here yet to pick up. But we're pulling them anyway. Make sure we're each spreading the damage gain, guys. These all need to die at the same time. Keep them stacked up. Keep that damage getting spread. Right now, there's too much damage. No, it's going well. We need a bit more on Skull, please. AoE Taunt. Arcane Explosion. Sapper also Perfect. works. Yep. Beautiful. Only one death. That's kind of okay. Respecky. <laughs> Sacrifices were made. Oh, weak. Worthwhile. Remember, if you need my drink whenever you can. Um, tanks, we just wanted to try and pick these up all as we can. We're going to be having two rounds of Consecrate go down on the second pulse of the first Consecrate. We can then start AoEing them down. We're going to be pulling them all to this wall where we just killed the Warriors. And the idea is that you're backpedaling into the wall so you can't get knocked around the room. So we'll be pulling and walking back up into this corner here where the green is. Moon is currently loose. That's probably because someone AoE just way too soon. Second round of Consecrate and we can AoE. Like Shasky, you are not a tank. Did we make a reserve on that uh, scarab? You didn't ask for it, but like, you can have it. No one else really wants it. Neat. Let's get happy back up. Now I'll start getting ready to pull the next pack. Remember, do wait for that second round of consecrates to go out before you start doing any AoE casts. This is at all of the mages. You will die. You got the ring? Great, it's perfect. There we go. That's one round of Consecrate. The second, and off we go. Don't run back in if you've got like three bleeds on you. Wait for them to get fall off of you. The healers will make sure you stay alive. If you run back in and take more damage, the healers have no chance to save you. Your heart will explode. Right, my friend, you're going to pull the next one. Brilliant. This was not the place to do oranges. Right, diamonds just got into the group. Make sure we slow the damage for a second. 
and here we can begin. Your heart will explode. Beautiful zero deaths this time. Make sure we heal up Brisket Boy though before he dies. Up to T. Pick up orange. And the final pack is getting pulled now. Remember, these are going to be quite spread out. You have to wait for these consecrates to go down. That is how the Paladin tanks get their threat, of which we have two of today. Your courage will fail. That's Consecrate 1. Alright, that's Consecrate 2, off we go. All warriors, start putting on your tankiest armor sets you can. If you have plate gear, you put on plate gear. It's just so you're more likely to survive getting hit by the blade wolves or whatever they're called. Number one. Well, ah, yes. Best ability. They have so many abilities that are the exact same thing, but give them different names. Oh. <laughs> I think this is enough for Surtura. Alrighty, and the assigned order for the tanks on the ad is that we have got um, Lake Shark on Skull, Ragnarok and Cross, Strafers on Triangle. We have Winters Lighting Up and Mithran starting off on Sartora. Just make sure you're spamming your taunts and keeping the ads under control. And once your assigned Skull, Cross or Triangle is dead, you move over to the next one just to make sure it's helped out and kept under control. Everyone is here, there's only two people without mana, so we'll give them about five seconds until we start mounting up to running. Remember, if you see a mob come towards you, use a lip, run away from it, you know, use your feet. It's very helpful to staying alive. Use a T even if you take some damage. All time for four and off we go. Three, two, one. You will be judged for the Tanks, fight. pick up your targets, and everyone start focusing down to skull. Tanks, it's time to taunt spam Sartora. Alright, get cross down next everybody. Triangle's currently a bit loose. Everybody on to triangle starting now. Cross is dead. And we need a stun on Sartora. Alright, taunt spam. Taunted. Keep taunt spam on Sartora, please. We should have about four tanks on it currently. Get a stun ready in one second, and get a stun now. If we can get a second stun, get a second stun. Nice. Perfect. Taunt spam. Let's go. Tanks just start the rotation of just getting your taunts on cooldown. Helps keep it stabilized. All right, we need a bit more taunting, but that's okay. Get a stun ready now, please. Perfect. And we want one more stun now. Nice. Taunt spam again. Taunt I sentence you to death. And it should die in this round, so make sure we're all just spamming those taunts. Perfect. Do the last. That is an item. I'm the example of not what to what not to do. I didn't move, I didn't use T, I didn't use my own cooldown of bark skin. Right, we're all gonna be grouping up on Star. Star is going to be Mifrin today. He'll be leading us through the tunnel.
Damn, there's a nice healing relics. Please do make sure we're innovating Quinston's during this. He is going to be going very far with his health. Uh, where is it? Alright, Mishtem, are you with us? Let's all start advancing now. Oh, you're respecting? Oh, okay. Whatever. We're going in. Sorry, I heard it too late. Just keep advancing if you're at the back of the pack. Why? Don't be casting at the back. Just keep going forward. Get in front of Star if you can. But I'll be staying at the back just to make sure we have no stragglers. Don't let me be too far behind. Come on guys, I'm just holding W. You can't be falling behind me. Remember as we get to the end of this tunnel, try and conserve your rage, try and keep it at 100, just so we can go into Fankwitz that little bit faster without me using the rage folks. Can we get a Salvan Warriors before the boss? Yeah, sure you can. That's the Sanjiro's job, please. Sure. Ifrin, you're the star, you're falling behind. Yeah, but just the mood was on mage. I mean, the, I mean, the mob oh, needs to die. <laughs> yeah, it can die at the top of this. Right, get these two soldiers down. In this safe spot, make sure you're drinking your oranges once you get here, especially if you're oom. Click them as soon as you can. Our main tank today is going to be Mithrin starting off from Thancris. After that, lighting up is going to be Taunton and come around five stacks of the debuff. Standard would be free, but Mithrin is literally that chat of a tank. Are ready? I'm ready. Shadow Dude's got no mana, but it's only one DPS. We can go. Okay. We're stacking on the boss's ass. Make sure we're stunning the worm once it gets into the group, please, everybody. Right, perfect. Everyone onto the butt. First worm coming in from the front. We are going to need a stun on it in about five seconds. It's marked with a skull currently. Get a stun on that worm, please. Kill it dead. Everybody focus the worm. Perfect. Next worm is coming in from the front left again. We need a stun on it pretty much now. A little bit too early, Ragnarok. We want it on the stack of people so the melee can just straight up attack it. Kill the boss dead. Nice job, people. Oh, oh. That's a juicer. Ooh. A rare juicer. Alright, everyone start equipping your nature resistance gear and also your frost weapon. I do recommend all of our priest healers equipping their frost wand as well. It's extra damage, paladin healers, you know the drill. May as well get the extra frost procs in while we can. Focus on the spelling and the druid healers can focus on just re renewing the raid or regrowing the raid. Rejuvenation, that's the word. <laughs> and we should have a good time. 
We are waiting for Mishlem to get here. Once Mishlem is here, we're going straight in. Mishlem, I hope you're ready. Good mages, buff group three, please. You want intellect on group three? Yes, please. Thanks. Okay. Get the weapon skill faster. Give group <laughs> eight arcane Great intellect, enough. please, mages. Perfect. Mish them is here. We're going straight in. Thanks. Remember, pick up. You don't need to nature resistance gear on. You just need to be tanking it. Today's the day I hit 300 dagger skill. Finally. Oh my god, dude. There's the poison belt volley, make sure we're dispelling that. Three hundred skill boys, we did it. <laughs> she did she did it, chat. <laughs> Go in, physical. Yep, everyone's just a melee attack the boss. Alright, and it's splitting. You can do some damage from range, but the aim is to AoE them all when they get into the middle. Sappers do a good job, about four or five sappers, and you can face it. Nice. One more round of the melee attacks. Be careful if he spawns a poison pool on his ass. Alright, he cursed the poison. Physical almost? Yeah, it's around 25. Everyone wants to come in and start melee Just attacking, please. Yep. Come right click this guy. Nice. Ooh, Sky Sky Patch. Oh, that's a big boy. Hey, Just Sky remember Bush, if it's a main spec. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Class. Take off your frost resistant weapon at frost weapon at this point and your nature resistant gear, please, people. Um if the scar brooch is not as odd, it should have a guild rank priority assigned. Uh, let me have a check. Roll if you want it. Yeah, I guess the size after the fact either way. You loot system. It's only shame if I rolled anyway now. If no SR it's prioritized by guild rank. This is Electric Eye's second um, AQ40. He's not got an assigned rank at that point, whereas Yomaru would have. It. So it's Yomaru's. Congrats, man. Yeah, oh, thanks. Nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. Funky, that'll teach you for not coming one week sooner. Not lucky. I'll just go back to the fix it. That was a late roll, Funky. Yeah, not bad. Just trying to keep people alive, you know? But you did tie with the highest roller. <laughs> you snooze, you lose. When you forget to pick the boss. My man! I can stay out to taunt the Lesher. That makes it all easier. So we need to make sure we have a tank to pick up the lasher at all times. Mifrin will wait out because the first tank will always get charged out and have a threat wipe. So he'll be there to pick it up and stabilize. We are killing the lashers first every time. If there is a lasher, it is your target. 
We AoE down the rest of it once the lashes are dead. We have 30 minute mark. Mm -hmm. And we're going to pull Skull now, please. Uh, surely it hits. I pretend it hits. Check your weapon and stack it all together. Oh yes, it has just hit that time. Yeah, it's been like two minutes. Mm -hmm. Good enough. Alright, we have this pack without a lasher coming towards us. We may as well pick it up. We have a Lasher pack coming in now. We're all changing our target to Moon. I right, and get Moon dead. Oh, when did you pull the pack and it's coming towards us? Luckily, yeah, it's, it's just AoEable mobs. Alright, yeah, we need yeah. to Consecrate or AoE Taunt and Lit, and we're AoEing AoE you AoE Taunted. Perfect. We can then res that Slacker Winters straight after. <laughs> Lying down on the job. <laughs> Dude, I hate when that happens. Here Princess. comes another lasher pack, so make sure we pick up this lasher, kill it dead. It's so stupid. Custom ability with bugs? No. no that's a vanilla ability. Oh, that's even it, worse. Intervene is the custom one. Which okay. is the same well, thing, but for friendly targets. You may as well pick up cross pack. Please let the Hades drink off, so this is like a free packs pack to black. Um, I'll give you one better. Alright, and we can aim even down. Alright, yeah, we will take a quick second to drink. If you need mana to start drinking, we're going to res Winters up. So you have a good 10 seconds or more to get your mana back. It's also probably a good time to equip your Bar of Peasant Caller, everybody. Casters on the next boss will be using it at 40%, melee you're going to be using it at 30%, the boss should die rapidly quickly. We only have one last pack to pull. Scammed not effects, boys. <laughs> good. We normally have good drop rates. This just means we see more red mounts later on. Uh, everyone's stacked nice and tightly. Tanks get ready to pick up this pack. It's coming straight for us. As that South Park scene goes. Right, there they are. There's the fret wipe, Mithrin straight in there, perfect. Lash is dead, AoE to rest down, get it dead quickly. Mana overall is looking pretty good, we're at about 80% as a raid, if you need some more mana now, start drinking. Otherwise, start mounting up. Cool. Ready to pull? Make sure you have your Bar of Peasant Caller equipped. This is the last reminder for everybody. Full timer, seven seconds. When it hits zero, Mithrin, feel free to four, start running in. Three, we are two, only poison cleansing one. the Wyvern shot. Don't put poison cleansing kit. Right, let the tank pick it Go up before we start blasting. And cast to try and get max rage. Mm -hmm. Melee, when you use your peasant caller at 30%, make sure you take a step back once the peasants are there. This is so they are closer to the boss than you and you don't get one shot. Get rid of the wyvern shot and lighten it up, please. Casters use your peasant caller. Melee, right. you start using your peasant caller. Take right. your step back now, melee. Right, keep the boss to make a move. Right, 
Man, you move. Thank goodness. No one died, and that's what we like to see. Yep, yeah, don't let me from down. Who around Stinger? Nice. And then we're going to have a melee stack and the cast attack. Coincidence is going to denote our cast attack. He is the diamond above his head. And that just means that we have Mifrin denoting the melee stack with a star above his head. It's tank priority. Yeah, it should be. It should be. There's no tanks rolling, then. I'm the tank, technically. Winters is a tank. Winters is an assigned tank. Lake Sharky is also an assigned tank, right? Is he not? Because he's assigned to Scarum, he's assigned to Trio, he's assigned to Sartora. He's is not he? assigned to Fairfront. He's at the top half. Is he? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The diamond. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright everyone, let's get into two nice stacks. When this next guy comes towards us, we'll be picking him up. My friend, I'd probably go a little bit more forward from here, to be honest. Just so we're right at the entrance of the room. Remember, if it's a shadow storm, every caster is running straight in. So if you're on the diamond mark, you run into the um, star. When you see that, you get hit by a black shadowy bolt of damage. Well, more so purple. Further forward, people. They're going a lot further in. Alright, they've pulled them. What's it gonna be? Shadow and Frost Reflect. Beware. Shadow Storm, get in. Pop a tea if you need health. And meet you. Pretty easy one. Come on, hit Mishnah with the meter again. <laughs> <laughs> Two weeks in a row. I froze, I'm like, is it me? Not yet. <laughs> you are dead on our screen though. Sorry. Expression. Okay, it's in rage, we can do that. You have all the dice. Raid mana is still looking good, we can pull a next one. Let's mark this guy with a skull and go for him. I'll intervene back. Okay, stack into two melee and caster stacks, please. What's it doing? Fire and arcane reflect. Meteor. Beware. Shadow Storm, get in if you're a caster. And also hunters, like Fawzi. Fawzi, come in with everyone else. Righty, and this one is enraged as well, that's what we'd love to see. Raid mana is still doing good, it's above 60%, we can get ready to pull moon. Make sure we're in two nice stacks again please people. Caster Wait, and melee stack. I'll give lightning up a triangle just so we can see him for the melee stack then. Right. It has gone with reflect. Thunderclap, caster stay out. Aseni, get out of the raid group, you are played. We need to pull further back. Everyone start moving backwards. Shiro, get out of the group. Alright, this should be. Will the totems pull? I think the totems will pull. Um, Mami Moo, pick up your totems. Um, Shiro's plagued. I can't see any more plagues, to be honest. Droad is plagued. Mami Moo is plagued. We need a tank in the region. Yeah, can Dreyfus get out, or is he main tanking right now? I'm on the bus. What a big guy. Can you pick up these ads, please? Run away! It's exploding, girl. everyone run away. Run away. <laughs> we need to stack these ads, we can AoE them down. Let's just get them grouped together. They're very weak. We had a few too many people die there for my liking, but we can get them quickly res. Do you think it was because of 60% mana? No, absolutely not. People were no. not oom. That was not the issue, actually. No, yeah, no one was even oom. We couldn't move. 
So it's getting moved from the clip, so you can't move and heal at the same time. And, we had to move and then plague in yeah, the group I tried as well. to say for people to stay back when I pulled it, but the melee group ran forward with me. I told them to follow Star. That's probably my bad. Yeah, fair enough. Acceptable. Should have just waited for it to come closer. Yeah, it's fine. We're doing great for pacing today. We're 14 minutes ahead of normal. What's a little fuck up here and there, eh, boys? <laughs> exactly. Let's make sure we do rebuff the groups that did die. Does Eleni need a new rest, please? Alrighty. Pick your oranges if you need your mana, we only have one person in. And we can start going forward into this path to get stacking up. Intellect on yeah. group one, please. Alright. Melee stack, stack by Mithrinus, please. Casters, the screen mark is pretty good. Will that guy, won't that guy go on the left? Oh, yeah. False. I did think you were going to stack near the screen mark initially, to be honest. But then he's just kept going forward. Remember, two distinct stacks. One for casters, one for melee. We aren't making a line of coke. We are literally going to be a pile. Oh, don't make me <laughs> Alright, we have Shadow and Frost Reflect. We have Shadow Storm, get in. Use T if you took any damage and you don't want to die to another Shadow Storm. It's a Meteor, so it's going to be easy healing. I reckon this guy's going to enrage. Yep. Nice. One final guy then. You can pull in Mithrin, we have 75% mana. We have a dead. Uh, we can kill it before it nice. gets rust. Nice grenade. Yeah, that was not a need, that was the <laughs> Oh. Cool, two distinct stacks guys. Cast the stack, melee stack, remember? Baron Arcane Reflect. Jowstorm, get in. Aloris, get out of the group. You're good there. Oh, That's good enough. For instance. And it's in range, kill the dead. Beautiful job. Kill the ads. Righty, we have Bartek. Yeah, yeah, don't get into the group until your plague is fully gone. And we have Bartek and Mercurial as our shadow resistant tanks today. Bartek's on his usual side, Mercurial is on the right side. Winston's is going to be in his gear as a backup tank, just in case anything unfortunate happens. An and Winston's, you're going to be a backup tank in case anything unfortunate happens to lighten it up. But he did a good yeah. job in Nax yesterday, so I have a lot of faith. <laughs> uh, you know it bro and our assigned healers so for Mifrin and Bartek we have Droad, Zaramara and Fire as the assigned healers and for Lightning Up and Mercurial we have Gusta, Princess, Mammy Moo and Meme-chan as the assigned healers please don't attack the fucking scarabs we need to buff I right click it please kill it and make sure you want to click the bar of peasant no, dying. Oh, good. No stress. Okay. I'm gonna send a ready check out. Let me know when you're ready, please. This is mainly for the tanks who are getting charged. We also need to get the group set up so Mercurial, Coincidence, and Lightning Up can go in the same group with Mami Moo. Yep. And Zayomara needs to take over group two, and we swap in Bartek and take out Lake Sharkski.
Remember the paladin, he, um, the shaman healers with the groups were off on the caster guide. You are grounding totem to soak up the shadow bolt. We are still waiting on our tanks to be ready, so let me know when you guys are ready. I just have to respect. Yeah, going back to what Link Sharsky said about bar, of course. Make sure it's off now, we don't need it anymore. <laughs> Double, triple, quadruple, check your trinkets. And just a reminder to every single person, you are not to be the closest guy to the um, boss when it's teleporting. That's why you'll hear us say melee out. Don't be the closest thing. Only the tanks are to be the closest thing and they know what they need to do. I'm ready. So make sure you don't go further forward than Mithrin, Bartek, Mercurial, Quinston, or Lightning Up. You removed Quint my right side. Am I left side back up? Mm, yeah, you're back up on Mercurial side. But just in general, right? Like, if Bartek dies, then we need you there instead. Oh, yeah, of course. Marking. Okay, cool. We'll give Mithrin a star. We'll give Lightning up a circle. And we give Winces because he's a back of a diamond. I believe everyone's ready. Alright, lighten up. Get into position in the middle of the ring, ready to pick up. You can literally stand in that middle hexagon. Okay, go on in. Thanks. No oh, blood rages, people. Join me, brother. There is blood. Right, it's on Winces because he blood rage. Oh, that's fine. Fine. Can you just help position it then? Because it's now in this group at the back. Fucking go for lightning gun. You will not escape. Threat is not good yet. Casters take care. Melee out. Melee out. Three, two, one. Teleport has happened. Make sure you don't blade the lizard onto your warlock tank. Please grab the scarabs around melee. Mm -hmm. And make sure you kill Hit any the scarabs, please. Ten. It's melee out again. Three, two, one. Do make sure you pick up the big corrupted scarabs though, but they need to be dead. Yeah. Alright, coin, you're taking over on the next teleport. Ten. Can I get a battle res on Mercurial, please, and on Chronico? Three. Melee out, two, melee out. One. And a battle res on Princess. I'll do it. We need a tank to pick up that ball. Okay, that's good. Just tank it where you are. Take the scarab. Okay. Take the scarab. I need melee. Get the scarab off him now. The scarabs have an armor Ten. debuff that stacks, so yeah, get it off the tank at all times. Melee, get out. Three, two, one. Tank, get in closer to that ball, please. Teleport is whenever. There's the teleport. Thank you, Winters. Threat is good on Bartek. Elevate on Shadow, please, if possible. Can a physical, can a warrior thunderclap? Ten. Can a warrior thunderclap? Can Melee warrior... out. Three, two, one. Teleport any time. Teleport instantly. Heal material. Oh. Get you too. Material, you're a bit too close. Yeah, you could do that. Material's Ten. down. It's on Zinio. 
heal Zinio if we can. Nope, Sotra's next. Melee out. Three, two. Keep Sotra one. alive, please. Melee out. There's the teleport. Let's reposition it, please. Bartek has good threat on the other caster. Ten. Melee, get out again. Three, two, one. Do I have a warlock on this side? You have Sorry, coincidence. It's on me. It's on me, it's on me, it's on me. Cool. Aseni's next to pull threat currently. Coin, you need to try and get on the media. Make sure you remove yourself. Okay. It's currently on Winters still. There's Terra Stomper taking over threat now. Make sure Terra Stomper stays alive, please. Ten. Kill it dead, though. We won't be running out at this point, mainly. Just go. Good job, people. Please link the loot from the right hand side. No! And the left uh, hand side. This. Nice. Oh my god. Bracers. Uh, Healing gear? We don't Sorry, see that ever. Oh, I didn't mean to write one there. That's a bit confusing. Oh, that's okay. Well, that was clean, like Stevie Wonder performing a lobotomy. <laughs> That's pretty good Need to be honest. Bank pit, please. Yeah. And let's fix the groups before I forget. We take Mercurial out, we swap in Drafers, we put Drake Lake Shark he back in there. Other bank by Starkly. Stop those. Okay, so for these packs coming up, the Mind Slayers, we need to make sure they're away from everybody. Tanks, make sure you pick up your target, pull it away from people. We only kill it when it's not near anyone because they do an AoE fear on death. The Slayers, they do a Silence, so we want to be killing those first, and they'll be mod for Skull and X at all times. Bro, and the Cat the... Champion, we pull all the way to Timbuk 2, and we make sure the Shaman in the group with the tank for that is placing a Trematome at all times to get rid of the um, fear effect. I'm done, Mithrin, thank you. Cool, and we have a pack here that's pretty good to pull. It's a free Slayer pack. If I can get a Hunter to volunteer their pet to pull. Just... just good. Yeah, that. Luck, though. I'm doing it. Mm. Alright, we've got it. It's locked in. Stack these slayers together, kill them all down together, kill, get our Mind Slayer out of the pack ASAP and Mithrin soon what he needs to do with the champion. This is a time to cleave. You know, hard knocks over the wreck on this. Oh, they know. Uh, and we have a slayer loose in the raid. It's gone back to the stack, perfect. CC happy? Or hippo. Perfect, and now we can all focus on the Mind Slayer for a caster. I'm going to mark it with a skull. Make sure you please bring it into the doorway, Ragnarok, just so you can be healed and we can kill it. Perfect, heal Ragnarok before he dies. Good job, guys. Just so you know, there's a four Mind Slayer pack coming up. Cringe. For this, please rest Shira. It's soft reserved. Yeah. Alright, we have eight. We have a two slayer, two mind slayer pack coming up, but it's also stuck behind this other champion pack. So we're going to be doing the full Mind Slayer Champion pack as the first one. Remember yeah, the aim is to here. Yeah, we'll be pulling back into this previous room. Remember the aim is to spread out these Mind Slayers. That is our priority. And melee, you're going to be rotating through. You get one to fifty percent. You then pull it back. Can I get a hunter pet to pull it before I body pull it? 
That is not your body. Wait for it. Heal, heal. Yep. That's all good. I won't be able to see what happens here, but do make sure the Mind Slayers are literally dragged far away from each other so that we can single target them down. Melee, you'll be going from skulls across the square to moon, getting them to 50%. Once they're all at 50%, you go onto triangle. And for this one, coincidence, you'll need to call out the kill order, please. I can't see the room, so I don't know. Can you pull the unmarked mind slam more into the room? More and more. Can we not kill Giomara? Get unmarked. Okay. And we have one hour mark right now. Oh, nice. He tanked. You're in the stomach, yes. Yep, moon guys. Yep. We only had three deaths, not too bad. We can do that without any deaths though. Just probably bad positioning and fears. Two deaths and one kill on the shaman, yeah. Yeah. Did someone kill him? Um, yes, he yes. died in mind control. He was low for five seconds and then someone just wanted to kill him. You guys. You're paying his repair bill. Sounds like room fury privileges have just been revoked. Was it a guy from his own group? That's the important question. I can right. only hope so. This next pack, we can pull the two mind slayers both out of line of sight. There's the left corridor and the right corridor to the sides. We stack the slayers together. We pull the champion behind us. I'm not going to body pull this one. Someone else can be in charge of pulling it, please. get these slayers down, that's the skull and cross mark. We need to make sure Square is being pulled to the side of the room and not kept with the rest of the pack. It's currently on Dreyfus. Right attitude, misunderstood the assignment. Do we do Moon first? All right. Yeah, we'll kill Moon first and then we're all going to be moving further north in this room. Make sure you match range moon when it dies, it's a good time to have dots on it so you can just walk away and see it just split up. Dots on moon, walk away so you don't get feared. Cool. We need to keep blue square now in the back of the room and we're all going to the north. Stop killing blue square for now, it's in the stack of players. Get dots on blue square, people have had time to move away. It's chasing after us. Mercurial, run it the other direction, please. Don't run it further into the group of players. We've got a red mount. Nice. Remember, 69 is a high roll. The Ferrari, dude. Can we stop fearing the red? Can mm -hmm. we look at the threat meter and... Light it up, look at that roll. <laughs> oh, I see a hundred in there, though. No, dude. Nah, there's gonna be a 69, Rewarded. watch. Watch, watch. Someone get a 69, come on. No, dude, another 100 win. Nice. No, Beautiful. he get the raid and he's winning. That's the pressure. Sure. That's the, yeah. Uh, Bartek, Bartek don't troll. Right, remember the one hour consumables? Congrats, career. Congrats, buddy. Still don't fear the Reagan. The next pack we'll probably be pulling is this double, triple slayer, one mind slayer. We'd love to see it. We need to pull back, this... yeah. Yeah, I think we're actually going to end up getting the pack that's coming straight towards us. Oh, which dude. is also a triple slayer, one mind slayer pack. This is a very good day, guys. Is it good Remember, pull like that me? mind slayer out of line of sight. Stack all these slayers together. Oh, that's going to be this pack. Yep. We need to take it's the last fine. one. Yeah. Let's just go, Paul. Coming right for us. We can pretty much stack it all together apart from the champion. Goal is dead. 
cross next. We'll, we'll cross back into the raid. Asani, you might want to blink and take it down. Everyone's silenced. Yep, yeah, that's because we had a Slayer. All Slayers are dead. Melee, you can now focus on the champion. Whoever has aggro of the Mind Slayer, please just pull it off to the side out of line of sight. It's currently Mind Flaying Shadow Deed. If we can freedom him, it will stop Mind Flaying him. Alright, and it's off to the side. We're all going to get feared here at this rate because it's in the middle of us. Be prepared for that, it's going to be fun. There's the fear. There's only 10 of us. This? Why are we fearing the raid group? Because people can't manage their threat. Alright, same again guys. We're stacking them all together, we're killing them all dead. Make sure you have mana ready to AoE. And pull in 5 seconds. 4, 3, Two, one. Here we are, stack them together, kill it dead. Gull is dead now, on to cross. Once cross is dead, we get square. And casters on moon, melee on the triangle. Remember, as Moon hits about 5%, walk away for a caster, CC like Sharksky, he's mind controlled. Get away from Moon. Perfect. Very few people hit by the fear then. Just like 10 of these again. And we killed the champion. Beautifully done. We should have one more pack to kill and then we can deal with the Anubis F Guardians on the waters and all that on the side. We're pulling back. Mm -hmm. Is this another triple sl nope, two mind slayers. The mind slayers are going all the way down this room to where you see these grey Karaji scarabs. We're pulling one to the left, one to the right. Make sure we have a healer follow them please to keep them alive. The champion is also going in that direction. Let's pull. Stack these two slayers together. And make sure those mind slayers are moving down the room, at least. Or oh, oh, wait, I want to call it. A lot further down, please, guys. I understand that it might be passing on someone. Mm. Yep, casters onto square. I'll be market because we're stopping. Stop attacking moon, please. Casters start getting away from square, let your dots finish it off. Alrighty. We need to move the champion or you're going to get feared. Never mind, the casters finished off moon as well. That's all good. Kill the champion. Nice. Everyone, it's time for our little bit of cheese. We just pull this one nullifier, we kill it dead. Then we'll do mana and the precast on the big guy. Come stack with me and a big fat chicken. Four mind slayer and then three mind slayer right after. Oh, no. oh! Jinx the Jordan. It's going so well. It was. Cool. Yeah. Make sure you get your mana back. We're going to do a 10 second pull timer. Make sure you hit it for zero with a heavy hitting ability. So in five, five four, four, three, three two, two, one, one and zero. Five. Hit it with your hardest hitting thing. Kill the water first, always. Remember, you can interrupt it when it starts casting. But that is just good damage, we didn't need to. That's what I like to see, guys. Okay, and now we step forward, getting ready to pull this next pack. I'll be doing another pull timer for that. Call 10 seconds. Intellect on group 3, um, Shaman please, and in 5, five four, 4, 3, three two, 2, 1, one. and 0, we hit this guy. 
tanks pick up the nullifiers, just turn them over away from the raid group. We need a tank to taunt this warder before Terra Sample dies. Dust cloud, there's people getting their hit chance reduced, and entangling groups. At least it wasn't good. Ninja putting right? Nope. No. No. Like, we're doing good. Shard of the Ooh, Fallen Shard. Star, I'm pretty certain that's Sotra's SR. He's been SRing it now for a couple of weeks. Yep. Congrats, yeah, Congrats. I hope to see you again still, though. <laughs> <laughs> He's free. <laughs> we're taking a second for mana after all of that. Congrats, dude. So, for the free Mind Slayer pack, we'll be pulling them back into this room. We'll be using the corners of the room and making a triangle of them, and using the new champion to make it a full square. We focus down the Slayer first, mainly start rotating through cross, then square, then moon, and they just get into 50%, same as previous packs. You need to pull this Let's in get... the room then, because yep. uh, the other pack is passing here. Yeah, we pull first back. All the way back, guys. Remember, they come into the room, so we want to be past the corpses of this Anubis Apple and Wall of Fire. Pull it back. More, more, more. Whoever is on that square, just run into the room, please. Don't worry There's about totems there. Room. Pick up your totems, please, if your name is. They're gone. Perfect. I don't have to shower anymore. Moon is in a bad position. Move, Moon. Perfect. And whoever's running it there, just, yep, perfect, you died. That's what we like to see. We're going to be killing Square next, please. Although, hold damage on the Mind Slayers at this point in time. Hold damage on the Mind Slayers. Cool, we're good to start killing them. We can just kill it. It's gonna be grief, right? But like, yes. this is just what happens. Oh. Everything dies at the same time, perfect. Just that ranger, bro. I risk grief. Next time I'm Hearthstone, oh. to outrange it. <laughs> sure, bro. Um, is this a four Mind Slayer pack next winters? Three, right? No, we just did the three pack. This is the four pack. Have fun. So we're going to. Are you having fun yet? So we're going to be pulling all of these mind slayers back into this room too, just so we don't get feared into that pack directly. Right Let's go. Let's go. Alright, in five, five, four, four three, two, two one. one. Let's go, guys. Let's just be glad Sotra didn't press in the house now. I wouldn't have. Swap <laughs> Alright, remember, get these down to 50%, change your target, wait until we say which one to kill. Casters, this applies to you too. Skull is the best one to kill though right now, so keep up with what I'm doing. What a strange game. I can play even when I played. And I gain threat. After Skull, we're going to kill Cross. Cross is in a perfect position. Once Cross is dead, we want to bring Moon over into that direction, please, to where Cross is dying. Cross is about to die in a second now. Alright, and we need to bring Moon, please. It's on Ragnarok. Yep, get Moon all the way around that corner, and it's dead. Perfect. Cool, the final Mind Slayer and remarking it square. Pull square into this room, please. It's currently on Bartek as priority one. Just kill it there. Yeah. You are doing a good job tanking it, Bardak. You just can't position it. I mean, you know, same as twins, basically. Mm -hmm. Copium. We've learned after experimenting, we can't kill any of these nullifiers before the warder. We have experimented copious amounts of times at this point. 
but we can stack here, we can do a precast. We have one healer oom, so we're gonna give it a good extra five seconds for this. And in five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one, zero, hit it. Make sure we get a taunt on it. Terrace Keep these little fires stacked together. Entangling groups, and it's dead. Beautiful. That's what we like to see. And killed them all. Let's kill the final pack of trash just so we've got it all out of the way. We do have people who are at like 66% mana. We're going to give them a second to get their mana back because this actually requires it if it goes wrong. Yep, stack on Quinston. He has a star above his head. All time we're going for 8 seconds. 5, Five four, 4, 3, three 2, two. One, one and zero, make sure you hit it. Okay. Right. Okay, we're dead. Beautiful job, people, and get these multiplies. I've not done the CPW check, so here's the Adam check now. I'll turn it on if it's not on. You haven't got it on, Winces, neither has Shadow Deed, Droad, or Brisket Boy. You'll find it, it in the pinned messages in AQ40 Tuesday. This is Kafun Warner. Make sure you've denested the add-on file because it's a folder inside of the folder, and the folder inside of it is actually the add-on folder, not the one that you download from the GitHub page. Sorry, say that again. <laughs> Um, it's a folder inside of a folder, so you need to extract the inner add-on folder from the download from GitHub. You need the confirm Warner add-on. Right, if you have a screenshot of the circle on your screen, post it in EU raid discussion, and I'll just go perfect. And remember to turn it back off, you type slash CTW. So for this boss, we want to pop a nature protection potion before we begin. It can just save you from the popcorn bullshit that it does. I forgot the name of it already. Great. I'm sure Quinston remembers. Just call Wait. it popcorn. Just call it popcorn, dude. Cool. It identifies itself as quick. Be respectful, man. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, it's cool. So we're going to be using lucidity potions if you're getting chased down by Quake, or if you are in the melee range when the boss enrages. It's good to pop your lucidity potion then because it can just save your life. This boss had its script change a couple of months back now, or a month or so ago, where it's whoever is numerically highest on threat gets targeted for sandblast, and when you get sweeped out, you are no longer getting your threat wiped. Your threat is just temporarily not shown until you're back in melee range. And that's the main important part, so make sure we're stepping out for sweeps please. Um, even though it's not as vital anymore, but it is stopping damage being taken, so that's always important. And make sure we have a, um, any casters getting out of the stack of people if they know they are numerically high on threat. It'll be obvious because you have a threat meter and we'll call out your name. We're all going to be stacked together behind the boss. We have tanks on left side and right side and a main tank in the center. So we're all stacking behind the boss and if you hear your name called out, you are running away from everyone else. So the sandblast does not affect the whole raid group. If you have a screenshot of you with the add-on, it's in the EU rate discussion to post a screenshot. You okay. I will. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do the ready check now, just because it's a new script for the boss. People might need to change their muscle memory. Everyone is ready, Mifrin, um, lighten it up. Grafers and Winces, feel free to get ready for. 
Remember, Going. all of the DPS is going to be stacking on diamond, please. Getting close because it's a conal ability, so people running out means you might get hit if you aren't stacked properly. Alright, first sweep, first sandblast. Mifrin should be getting swept now. Sandblast should also go on Mifrin. Is on Lightnet, cool. Shadow D, do you have very high threat? Get out of the stack of everybody else. Cast is worth the sweep. Mm -hmm. Sweep is incoming, melee out. Sandblast is going to be on Shadow Deed most likely. Oh, it's a nub hazard. Cool, that's helpful. Nope, Shadow Deed is. Shadow Deed, oh. I told you to get out of the stack of people, yeah? Been asked to be listened for one. Alright, Mifrin and Lightning Up are highest numerical threat. It's probably going to be on Lightning Up. And blast on lightning up. Submerge possible in 10 seconds. Get out for sweep. Run away, we still have Mifrin inside, Run he should away. be getting sandblasted next. Alright, submerge, away, spread girl. out in the room please, Run. get away from the um, wake. If you are getting chased, a lucidity potion can just help you survive where you don't need to start running around. Converge back to the middle of the room, please. We want to make sure we pick up all these ads and AoE them down as fast as we can. Make sure we get an AoE taunt out here, please, as well, if you have a big group of ads together. Beware. Right, there are the ads, and Oru also submerged in the center of the room, too. And we get an AoE taunt on those ads and AoE them down. Perfect. All casters back to the back of the boss. And sweep is incoming. And after that, sandblast. Sandblast on Mifrin. Lighten up now the tank. Winces, you're probably going to pull threat. Be aware of that. Yeah, it's on Winces now. Alright, sweep's incoming. Sandblast is on Winces. Beware. Line up is the next main tank. Shadow Deed, Terra Stomper, preemptively go to the sides, please. Mm -hmm. And we should just be killing it dead. This is probably the right time for your Lucidity Potion if you're a melee. Good job, people. Be aware of the quake still. It's still there. You can still die to it. Not, not bad. Question mark? It's a shield. Nice. We've not seen nine in a long time, so it's pretty good. <laughs> Alrighty. Remember, as we're approaching the wall, make sure you... Um, Kafun, sorry. Make sure you're hugging the wall opposite his doorway. I'll be doing another add-on check now. Um, Brisket Boy, I'm assuming you still need to reload because you're downloading it. Um, isn't it? I believe it's built into the Pipipo bigwigs. I can't yeah. check your version of that. It's simply making people have an add on that's quick check is why we do it. You'll be one of the three people without the add on here. I know bigwigs has it built in, but we technically don't have a way to check it. I mean, we do, but it's really scuffed. Mm -hmm. It's also based on the version of bigwigs you have and all yes. that other stuff. We have like four different bigwigs add-ons for Turtle alone. Yep. Whereas this one add-on for this one purpose is pretty easy to check for. Might be a little bit excessive, but it also does mean we get the job done better. Shadow Deed, you are looking at the wall until phase two. Did. Hmm. Um, Droad, have you got a screenshot of the add-on? Okay, open up that Kafun Warner folder and send me a screenshot of what's inside, please.
The only other alternative, Brisket Boy, is that you go look at a wall for phase one. I'm sure you don't want that. Our designated DPS on the inside, things like Sharksky, Kakuma, and Matata. So you want me downloading um, the Cthulhu add-on? What's it called again? Cthulhu Warner. CTW, for sure. I'm, I'm being whispered by Thorzy that he can trade. Is that allowed for? Trade. I don't think the tokens can be traded. They but are you not. next in line after that? Because if so, that's just him passing his role, right? Yeah, of course. Of course. I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. I asked him why, and he said, I don't need. <laughs> okay. um. So, um, Droad, your, your problem there is you've gone into Kafum Warner, and then there's a folder called Kafum Warner. You want to only have add ons Kafum Warner to have that Kafum Warner.lua file. That's why your add on's not working. Just stare at a wall for phase one, and we will let you be. But, like, you are to stay away from every single person. I paused at the image. Can you explain your read wording? Um, I also need to add in... These are all the melee who are allowed in melee range of Gifun, and you are to be using your own common sense to spread out around the boss. Pick a position, hold it. If you, you need to take a step back, take a step back so you can let everyone else in. That is the main aim. We want only eight melee around the boss, so you don't risk chaining as much. And Hopefully. just because you're all in groups 2, group 3, and group group 2, 3, and 4, that doesn't matter with where you're standing, you're just going to be spreading out. The coincidence has reposted my Kifun image for where we're standing, so you'll see that you're, if you're in group 6, you're standing in the group 6 position, and on a um, dark glare, you'll be going and swapping positions with group 3, either going clockwise or counterclockwise you around the room, based on the direction die. of the dark glare. Lighten up also stand melee range. You are in the melee group. So, Lake Sharsky, Hakuna Matada, okay. Winces, Hippu, Brisket Boy, Asandro, Lightning Up, and Ragnarok are all getting to attack the boss. Cool. Dolores, have you got a nature resistance set ready to pull the boss with so we can pre shield you and you just run in straight to the back of the room? Do you want to split it? Will... Um, we have group 8 and group 7. Ew. Yeah, I do. It's just trying to min-max where they go. Sharrow joins group 4. We have Fire join group 5. We then have a group 8 and group 7 that are close to each other. So I'm just going to do this. Yeah. Is, is that better for you all? Yep. Healers are now more spread out. Pay attention to your groups. I did just fuck with them. Logging back in, hopefully it worked. Yep, all good. And remember, you are to not chain other people, so if you are not assigned to be in melee range, just find a position and stand there, and when tentacles spawn, kill it, but make sure you aren't touching each other. Can I be put into group 3 just so I get the extra healing mana regen, but I'll still stand in group 4? Thank you. Yeah, that's fine. You guys are next to each other anyway. <clears throat> cool. So, I think I've sent out a ready check. I believe I hit the button. But if not, here's a second one. Um, it's a nature protection potion if you really want to pop one, but like, I'm not too fussed about this. You like, with a tree part of the potion. Your friends. Who am I shielding for the pop? Is it? Um, Aloris, can you put on all of your nature resistance gear, please? Can you come over to this side? Following the wall, of course, not running straight in front of the door. He needs an NPP. Cool. Can we get a pre shield on Aloris? Are you reading what he's writing right chat? Oh, yeah, I am. I gave him a potion because I have them in my bags. Cool. So Aloris will be pulling for us. He will be able to run just straight through to the back of the room, or he can poke his head in and run straight down this corridor. But, but no matter what he does, we all go in a couple of seconds after he's done the initial pull. This means we have time to get into position. 
he will be feigning death and changing back into his regular gear set after he's done the pull for us. Which um, melee okay. group is uh, brisket? Right. Um, you're gonna just be. You've been assigned to go around the boss. So like, you get to pick a position, but like, don't bully people out. Don't chain. If you're not stood with group eight, technically, like that's fine. It's all about making sure the eight assigned melee are spread out around the boss. Your friend. Lining you up. You said you weren't ready. Can I help you, buddy? I'm ready. Perfect. Then we are all good to pull. Aloris, it's on your command. I recommend running straight into the back of the room, and off we go, guys. Get into your group positions already, and make sure you are not chained. I didn't get chance to mount up. Three now. Three to no random. Yep. Cool. And group six, give me room to move forward. I can't attack. Thank you. Loris, you're in a good position, you can stop there. Rafe, as you're standing in a bad position. We have Tentacle Party and a Dark Glare. Make sure you aren't getting hit by the Dark Glare, please, and get these tentacles down as priority one. It is going clockwise around the room. Get that eye tentacle down and back. Remember the aim is to do a bit of damage now, once you can get to your next group standing position, you get there as soon as you can. And then you just start blasting. Then ready for the next tentacle party. You're rotating to 180 degrees, right? 180 degrees, yes. We're going to try to step together. That's the end of Dark Blade, I'm not sure. Let's go. Trying to get my hint for you, dude. Fucking funky man. I should be in the bush, the tombs. <laughs> I be Monsolani. Once we push him down, we all go to the north of the room, please. Every single person to the north of the room. Make sure you're spreading out on the left and right hand side. When you get sent into the stomach, get one tentacle down, get the other one to 20%, 10%, and wait for the kill command. Tanks and healers, get out ASAP. We have a giant claw that just spawned. The next thing that spawns will be a tentacle party and a giant eye spawn. We want to make sure we stun the giant eye and kill it dead. Mages, you're going to be blinking deep into the room once Tentacles Party has spawned and getting down the eye tentacles that spawn back there. Judge Wisdom on the boss, please. Thanks. Right. In four seconds, three seconds, we have both of them spawning. Make sure you aren't stacked too tightly together. Giant eyes in the middle of the room, get a stun, please. Perfect. And Mages, make sure we got Tentacles in the back of the room. Brilliant job. One left to kill. Um, Good job, I guys. I need to not start killing one. Come on out when you can. There's one tentacle at 50% inside, by the way. Oh, just killed it. Alright, small eye, giant claw spawning. Make sure we aren't going too far north in the room. We don't want more tentacles spawning like that one on the boss itself. So this is why we aren't overextending and we're staying back until it spawns. First tentacle inside is pretty much dead. Get that first one dead, please. Don't kill. If you... Yeah, don't kill yet. Kill this giant eye. Stun the eye, please, too. Eye tentacles in the back of the room. Make sure they're dead. And we can finish off the inside tentacle. Everyone get ready. We're going to be going to the entrance side we came in from. That's the side to hit your fun at. Kill the inside tentacle, please. Oh, for fuck's sake, it's only. I don't think we'll make it in time. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Down. Everyone's dealing damage right now. 
Yep. If every single person does damage, pop your fucking cooldowns, try and one phase this, guys. We have 32 seconds, we can do this easily. Sure. All those cooldowns. Sure, are in range. <laughs> We have to do more than 2% a second, you guys can easily do that. Push it. I know you've got it, Ingers. Yep, we're catching up. We now need to do about 1.8% a second. Keep going. Okay. Execute. Nuke. Do it, boys. Nuke. A twist. Come on, you've got it. Dot. Hell yeah. Fucking hell, hell yeah, yeah, guys. And an Ooh. Annihilation Gauntlet oh as a reward. <laughs> oh, and my Bane of Atiesh. Look at that. We are having a good day. Good raid, everyone. Thanks for coming. That was beautiful, people. Very good job. My DPS made the difference, obviously. It actually does, though. It adds up. Uh, 150 DPS overall, you know, that might have been a little bit. That adds up. We're getting yeah, a no, That was super close, right? Like, it definitely counts. Check C9, Agents. There's the 69 roll. Yeah, great. Super good. Yeah, 